Yeah, it's it actually over. January of 2021. <laughs> yeah, the campaign is over. And uh, SP Val, is dead. SP is dead. Val has ascended to become a god. Uh, Camus is on his eighth character. Uh, <laughs> I don't like any of these. I don't like any of it. <laughs> and, uh, and Doss has opened up a small business selling eye based foods. Mmm, delicious. Sorry, chat room. Sorry about that. Is it Beholder King? <laughs> That's a great name for an eye based food business. Now it has to become real. That's his retirement plan. <laughs> Fuck everything else I was written into my backstory. Okay, we're good to go on. Sorry about that. Oh, man, it does. I just okay. don't rumble. You're right. It does key out your water bottle. That's really fucking funny. <laughs> I want to see. Um, we'll need to adjust the cameras. Let me watch the stream. <laughs> Actually hilarious. That is very funny. He's just drinking void. <laughs> it's just a Vanta black <laughs> water bottle. Yeah. We'll need to what Let me now? Know when you're uh, oh, because yep. cameras. Yep, yep. The only way that I know if Susanna is muted or not is I see her mouth moving but don't hear anything. <laughs> marriage joke but I'm ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. okay we All are right. good. Oh, uh, let me just look at the battle map one really quick yeah all right yep, that'll fucking do it Val you were saying I don't even know where we uh, you, you were, were talking, talking to... about you were talking to the, to Captain Mateo, and you had mentioned men who turn into beasts, and uh, noticed that all of the Justice members were kind of side eyeing each other. Uh, and he had just got to the point where you had asked if there was anybody in the party who could preserve dead or speak with dead or something. I understand it is long shot, but if possibility exists, it would be good to have more information on how many are hidden away. He'll, uh, you'll notice he's kind of like tonguing his cheek for a bit, taking a real big inhale and just kind of with a, with a long exhale is going to say, well, our speaker Hana might be able to do something. Um, and speaker is just the justice, uh, cleric basically. Uh... What level spell is that for clerics? Speak with dead, I want to say is level two or three. I think it's three. I think it's three uh, also. But I mean, we have the technology to find out. It is third. Uh, so he says she could, not today, but she could have it ready tomorrow. Or re I guess she would say that. He doesn't know what she can cast. Do we not have problem with casting magic tomorrow? He's going to look at you. And he's going to look at a device that's hanging from his belt and say, Oh, fuck. Already? <laughs> <laughs> I, for one, am excited about convalescence. I want to see it. It's so bad. It's real fun. He said, look... She could have it ready tomorrow, but I'm not authorizing any goddamn spells to be cast tomorrow, short of some sort of, I don't know, uh, nationwide civil war. I'm sure you can understand. I know there have been, let's say, issues in the past. It is a wonderful moment in our history, but yes, issues is one way to put it. Uh, at, at any rate, Val, uh, Valentina, Miss Yokovna, uh, as I'd mentioned before, I'm Captain Mateo. 
uh, with me here are Justiciar, uh, Gabriel, Elias, Lara. These are my Rangers, Sophia, Luca, and Amelie. Uh, our speaker is Speaker Hanna and our apprentice, Apprentice uh, Rania. Uh, you are birds. Uh, clearly, you, you are house sworn to our house, but are contracted through the ranch uh, and have just brought some very troubling information to our attention. Uh, you and your companions, are you known? What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, are are you famous? I guess is what he's asking. Do you are you, are you a group? You know, are you are you randomly assorted birds that have come together for one contract, or are you a regular adventuring group? It has been ongoing arrangement. Okay, uh, that could be good news or bad news, uh, but. Uh, the rest of you, and he gestures to everybody, not Val, uh, please feel free to make use of the camp amenities. Uh, we'll share what information we have with you, uh, as I'm sure we can work together to find a resolution as we're both looking for similar things. Uh, Ms. Yakovna, if you would please accompany me for a moment. Uh, we must have words. They tried to kill this guy. Who are you Who's saying that to? The guy, the, the, uh, <laughs> Mateo. <laughs> we have not gotten that far yet, but he is possible witness. When we found a man who turned to beast, he was carrying him away from property. And as soon as he was found, he lit him on fire. Uh, he says, that's good information to know, and he'll turn back to, uh, the rangers and just kind of give them a nod, and you'll notice that they draw their bows and have them trained on him. He says, now, Miss Yukovna, if you would please accompany me. As you walk Ooh. away, you hear Hila, like, like, shouting them down, like, he's a victim! We pulled him from that wreck! <laughs> he might have, like, canthropy. <laughs> Yeah, He's liable right. to turn on us at any second. It's only he already fair. turned that's a fair on the point. egg. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. But yes, I follow the captain. All right. Uh, this, I think I can actually just share it specifically with you by dragging it over. So he's going to take you uh, like maybe 20 meters into the woods uh, and he's going to fish around in his belt and he says, now... This is never comfortable to do, but I'm sure you'll understand. And he hands you a scroll, uh, and it's got black ribbon, and you can see just a little dollop of black wax, which means that it comes from the High Justice. It has been quite some time since I have seen one of these. He says, I'll give you a moment to read it, but I'm sure you'll be familiar with the contents. And he's going to walk back towards the group. Let me know when you break the, the seal. I mean, yeah, I'm going to read it there. It's important. So while Val is reading her scroll, uh, the, he's going to walk back to the group and say, uh, it pains me to say this, but until we have confirmation from Ms. Yukovna over there, I must ask that none of you leave our site. Uh, we will continue to share the interests of our investigation, uh, or rather the information of our investigation with the interest of solving our problem. Uh, but it seems that you may have stumbled into something a bit deeper than what I'm assuming your contract states. Would you mind sharing your, your contract card with me? Like just like showing it to him? Yes. Oh man. Why not? Um, I don't know so who's got it in their inventory, but uh, yeah. So as as it's handed over, uh Gabriel will actually be the one who takes it. Um or actually no, not Gabriel. I guess it would be it would be probably Hannah, the speaker. And so she's she's gonna look over it and she's gonna look back at him and say, Well, Captain, yeah, they're they're in over their heads, uh, and this is very bad timing. 
And so he's going to cluck his tongue and look at you and say, well, we'll wait for your uh, your other member to rejoin us. Which I'll, oh. I'll wander back. <clears throat> As you arrive, he's uh, he's going to look at you and kind of, you can see that he's, he's expecting some sort of just confirmation from you. I just like acknowledgement. A nod. Well, are any of you familiar, or or does does the term uh, where did it go? Plot, 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 do plot. Where did the plot go? Uh, does the term acorn flats mean anything to any of you? Does the term acorn flats mean anything to me? <laughs> uh, probably not, Gila, based off your location. Uh, Grim, you're from Minahome, right? Hmm? Maybe you, and maybe Doss, and maybe Val. Give me a history check, and it's going to be hard. Mm. Come on, baby. I don't know why it rolled twice. Never mind. It, it, it didn't roll twice. You both have black dice. You're correct. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so no. It, it means nothing to any of you. And he's going to take a deep breath and say, well, uh, you are bound to secrecy by by the House of Justice. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have much of a choice in the matter here. But 20 years ago, a poverty-stricken village called Acorn Flats was infected during a resurgence of a terrible blood curse. Unfortunately, by the time we arrived, the villagers were too far gone, and it was determined that the resources required to lift the curse far outweighed the benefits of doing so. As such, the High Justice decided that the best course of action was to purge the village and strike, ex strike its existence from the records, hoping to, another, hoping to avoid another Great Moon War. Uh... And I'll go ahead and ask for an, a history check from DOS on this one with advantage. And then anybody else who's from Ornhala can make a history check standard. Hilo will look to Espy and be like, when your blood is cursed, all you do is roll around in poison moss and then stand on your head for a couple days. I don't understand why they didn't just do that. Poison moss is <laughs> around here. <laughs> so dumb. I, I misclick. I, There's no plus two for my history. Okay. I, I thought that was for chicken pox, not for blood curses. No, blood curses cleans you no, right that's, out. That, that's for oh. crazy people, I think is what you're <laughs> thinking of. Says the man who ate an eyeball for breakfast. Oh, Doss, familiar, uh, perhaps intimately with the Great Moon War, as you should be, uh, was a war in which Minohoam, Aldis, and uh, all three of the elven nations... Uh, well, the, the jungle elves weren't involved, so it would have been the high elves, the moon elves, and uh, Tomlina elves. Um, all three of, uh, or three of the four elf nations went to war alongside Minahome and Aldis against what was basically a lycanthropic plague. Uh, it, it was, like, it started in the underfangs, supposedly, uh, and just spread like wildfire throughout the continent. Everybody teamed up to basically beat it back, uh, but humans being humans, as they were kind of growing closer to victory, they turned on their elven allies, and it was this pivotal moment which allowed them to force the elven or the elves off of Ornhala and uh, down to the floating islands. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's what the Great Moon War was, uh, and is also probably what Han was referring to as well uh, when he had mentioned it before. Now, you may not have understood that it was lichens that were involved, but you do know that the Great Moon War is the po the point at which the elves were forced off of Ornhala. Yeah, and like now having knowledge of lycanthropes and him mentioning it in this context, I imagine I'm probably putting the pieces together like, ah. Oh. Yeah, your, your character is intelligent enough for sure. <clears throat> Um, cool. At the mention of that, I don't think Doss would really say anything, but you just see him mm -hmm. kind of nod, al nod along, and you see his expression kind of darken at the mention of that, considering this... it's literally, like, the topic of the d genocide and eroding of his people. Yeah, yeah. Not, not exactly comfortable conversation. Uh, but Mateo will continue and say, uh, the, the terms of your contract are valid 
but with one addendum. You are now bound by the oath one of your members has sworn to the House of Justice by virtue of being an adventuring party uh, to er assist us in eradicating any and all who are tainted with this curse. Are we getting paid? Of course. But there's poison moss everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> all, just go behind the tree line. It's on all the rocks. So as, as you're kind of saying this, then uh, Ronya, the, the, the apprentice uh, or, or caster here, uh, she'll step up and kind of reach an arm out like she's going to put it on your arm, but then she'll, she'll kind of stop short and say, while I'm sure that the cultural remedies of your people are quite effective in taking care of the things that you have encountered, uh, this goes a bit deeper than just poison moss on the skin, I'm afraid. This, this is an infection of the soul. Is that the one with all the pooping and, you know, the, the uncontrollable shakes and the barking at people? Blood I'm curse. afraid it... Bar barking, perhaps, uh, depending on the strain, but uh, uh, you'll see that, that this is one that turns man back into his base animalistic form of beast and renders him nigh impervious. Loud and clear. Get the metal panties on the women, and let's kill some men. I think loud and clear means something different in her language than it does in everyone else's language. <laughs> that aside, do we have any reliable way to confirm that someone is infected? You see him take a big gulp and say, well, I believe only Speaker Hana can uh, can fulfill that role here. And even then, it's, uh... Well, he looks at her and she, and she says, yeah, it's not foolproof. Based on the information that we have, there are quite a few ranchers who may possibly be in on it. One we have killed, another who was our guide. He seemed awfully suspicious when we decided to leave the main path. Are there any others? It is hard to say. We thought it better to convene with you rather than being hasty Well, and returning to ranch. As fortune would have it, if what you say turns out to be correct, then we have actually tracked down the location of the rustlers. And if the rustlers are indeed the lichens, then our goals would align. I am inclined to take your testimony as fact as a fellow member of the House of Justice. And as such, we would be happy to point you in that direction but based off the information you've given, I fear that we must prepare to advance on the ranch. Hmm. Aren't our objectives one and the same? Why not both do both? Also, we have a sky whale to talk about. <laughs> he just looks like... <laughs> What? <laughs> Last night, it appears that an airship had passed overhead using cover of night, but it appears that it was transporting Gorgon. We I are would not briefly sure if this explain is... why we would be suspicious of that. <laughs> we are not sure if it is related, but it became... Odd occurrence among everything else happening. Does that actually makes that fills in some gaps? Uh, and he'll call over to one of his rangers, and she'll come up and 
uh, they'll have a very brief back and forth, and so he'll turn back to you and say, yeah, so they started, uh, I think it was 12 Gorgons is what they were driving. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the number that they started with, and we've noticed that the number has been going down, but we weren't sure how because nobody has left the area since we located them, unless they're leaving right now. Um, but nobody had left the, the, the locale since we had located them. If there is an airstrip moving the cattle, that would explain how that number has been reduced. We believe it was heading south, but as airships are, it is indeterminate the final destination. I'm inclined to agree with you there. Uh, tracking an airship without a skilled mage or another airship is practically impossible. But still, if they're moving the cattle and... Uh, Sophia, how many did you say they had left? And she'll chime in and say, uh, last we checked, sir, there were three as of this morning. Well, they, they've got three left. Unless they're intending on eating them, that airship will likely be coming back. Again, I know that you are still beholden to the terms of your initial contract in addition to what we have assigned you. So it's your choice on how you would like to tackle this. You can ac accompany us to the ranch but that will give your rustlers the opportunity to escape or you can go to the rustlers while we go to the ranch. <clears throat> okay, I think we need a group huddle. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Uh, my, my gut instinct is to pursue the wrestlers i mean that is kind of our main contract yeah mm -hmm. i totally agree my only concern is that they're just going to raise the ranch and kill everybody <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, foot off really my balls genocide. honestly well then there's I not mean... much of a contract to fulfill if there's no one to bring the wrestlers back to or the gorgons back to that yeah, I mean, who 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 would sign off on the contract being completed if the ranch is raised to the ground? Probably the officers. Hmm. That's actually a good point. Um, what about Zeb? I mean, we still don't know. Maybe the cops have some kind of idea. Also, we could talk to the officers and be like, hey, don't kill everybody until we get there. We I are beholden like to a contract, least... and we know that not all of them are blood cursed. They outrank Val pretty significantly, so it well, might we could be a ask tough sell. Them, right? Yeah. We could yeah. ask them, be like, hey, do us a solid. Don't kill every living soul. Or at the very least, maybe investigate that suspicious, you know, wall window thing upstairs and find out if Zeb's actually there or not. They might could also just you could also just ask them if they've chatted with Zeb. Mm. Mm. Yep. That's I mean, tough, I because I feel like we go after the wrestlers and they are blood cursed too. Mm, yeah. uh, uh, that's also a good point to bring up to these guys. Like, don't they need to kill the wrestlers if they're blood cursed? Power in numbers, and we have the same objective. Like, it's but kill where things. Ranch, if the ranch is already the Blood Curse hideout headquarters, would not taking that out first kind of dismantle their group? Yeah, right. but it would also but scatter them scatter, into the yeah. wind to Shit, create yeah. more Blood Curse. Throughout the we land. Could, we could we could try to ask them, like convince them that they will come to 
take down the rustlers with us and then go to the ranch all together i think I, i'm gonna jump in and and save you some headache here uh they're going to agree that you need to split up no matter what you do we split up because or... uh, no, no 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 like like they, they're going like if you approach them and say hey the the rustlers might be you know blood cursed as well they're gonna be like oh shit you right so you go take care of them we'll go to the ranch or vice versa Okay, then we'll go to the ranch while they go take out the wrestlers. Perfect. I feel like they might have more authority going yeah. to the ranch yeah. as opposed to just us birds versus us just going to thwack some people. Plus their numbers are greater. Mm. Do you, and... Rumble, do you want to share what you were given? I, oh, I can, yeah. I can, I, I, I can I, send I it to everybody. Should. I guess you can this, go ahead and send it, but basically we do not have a choice but to comply. Wow. Oh. Officially wow. conscripted. Oof. I'm just going to read this out loud <laughs> for chat here. By the authority of High Justice Maximilian Petrus, you and your adventuring party have been officially conscripted by the House of Justice in the service of the Bureaucratic Institute of Requests, Directives, and Surveillance. As a house sworn in good standing, your compliance is mandatory. Any indication of refusal of fulfillment of the objective stated as the reason for your conscription shall be considered to be none other than a heinous breach of oath. Oath-breaking penalties will carry to the individual, their family, and any such members of their official adventuring party. The duration and extent of your conscription are to be determined by the issuing officer of the House of Justice, as this note bears the full authority of the High Justice. Act in Boulder said, may justice ever prevail. Sorry if I slaughtered a few of those pronunciations. Didn't I like how official is misspelled on this official document? Yeah, yeah. Blame, blame Photoshop on that one. Um, it really right, doesn't so, like when you type. Yeah. Oh God, it's the worst. If we have no choice but to split up, I mean, I'm fine with sending them to the ranch as long as we know that they're not just gonna like slaughter everyone i definitely vote we go to the ranch and play it cool until they can get there i don't think there's any playing it cool left because our guide knows what happened and he presumably went back there wait did you say officially was misspelled in the third one. Oh, okay oh yeah yeah gotcha Somebody wrote it by hand. They're not a good speller. They're a good killer. That's all that matters. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, you guys can get back to your, your group huddle. I vote going to the ranch. It's the only way. It's the only way to make sure that nobody dies. Or we just do not give a fuck. We just do not give a fuck and get the officers to sign it for us. Because they're clearly on our team. Like, Or else they wouldn't be able to give us this document. We we are doing our part. We are doing what we were contracted to do. We are doing the whole job and more than the job, as a matter of fact. My my curiosity compels me to want to go after the rustlers because I want to see if we can find out any more about the airship. But that's just pure purely curiosity driven. I'm leaning on the wrestler part because I I don't know what leverage we have going back to the ranch. Yeah. yeah. We we have no more information than we did prior to finding the group, other than this group has some very shiny badges and a lot yeah. of authority in the kingdom. Because it's like if I don't we, know what we would even do. If we went back to the ranch, how would we approach it? Would we like waltz in there and oh yeah no nothing's wrong we took care of the the rustlers everything's hunky-dory and then like we speak to either justinia or han privately 
try to figure out if they're in on it. Like, how how would, how would this go down? We would talk to both Justine and Han at the same time. Tell them what we have found out. And then be like, we gotta test all these motherfuckers for lycanthropy. It's gotta be done. But we have no means to test it. Yeah. Whereas the house does, maybe. Not 100% that is, that is verifiable, true. but okay. more than we can do. We have officers There's coming. They just have to kill your rustlers first. There's also the advantage that if we go after the rustlers, there's the tiny possibility that we can recover some of those cattle, which could result in a bigger payday for us later on, because we get bonuses for however many head we can recover. It's only 150 possible now, because there's only three gorgons left. I'm not going to say that 150 gold is nothing. But I mean, between the five of us, it's you know. But is that juice worth the squeeze? <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely going to start using that I think in everyday we, talk. <laughs> I think we have more impact on the overall scenario by going and dealing with a combat scenario rather than trying to negotiate our way out with no leverage and no idea of possible threats i i agree like i want to confront han and justinium but like like they pointed out earlier like these people outrank val by a lot and would probably from from a hierarchical standpoint not necessarily in terms of ability I mean, we I, I, we can just put it to a vote, of course. We need to wait for well, Josiah if, to get back because yeah, his we'll, we'll uh, to... PC crashed. Yeah. Tonight is the night of technical issues. We've got Snap, Crackle, Pop, <laughs> Goodbye Internet, and uh, Goodbye Computer. <laughs> a Going wonderful, to get the Riddlers, wonderful... <laughs> he says. Now all the uh, cams are messed up on stream and I can't fix it until he gets back. Did you guys see my adorable pumpkin friend? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> that thing was terrifying. <laughs> I, I, in, in my head, what the pumpkin looked like is not that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, while... Uh, while we were sitting around waiting for Val, Hilo like spit in the dirt and made a little bit of mud and drew a face on the egg and looked over to Espy and was just like, I think we should call him Gosa. You are muted. That's cute. Uh, I it was means thinking... snuggle. Oh, I like that. I was thinking something like, um, like maybe desayuno for breakfast, since that's what it almost was. I feel like that's more his brother's name. Uh, <laughs> now I'm sad. <laughs> I made myself sad. <laughs> well, Gosa is definitely... A cute one, and probably better if we're if we're gonna be training an animal. Easier to say, you know. We could put it to a vote. It's everybody's pet owl bear now. I don't think so. And she cuts <laughs> Doss a look. <laughs> if only he were here. Everybody but his pet owl. Bear. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and and Grim was eating a lot of eggs over there. <laughs> the damage was done. What uh, pass up a free meal? Who am I? I ate some too. I'm not gonna lie, it was delicious. <laughs> it's even worse. Well, I'm okay with calling it Gosa. And also, I would have started calling my pumpkin friend, uh, Prata. 
which means um, talk or maybe how prata. Much, how much do you pay attention to your little pumpkin? Um, whenever he talks to me, I talk to him, but okay. I, uh, I don't like really bother. Okay. Like I'm not paying, I'm not, I'm not keeping a very close eye on him, honestly. Okay. You're going to infect the world with pumpkins. Just. Is he mature yet? Uh, I mean, they were the ones that you encountered were only so mature because they were eating magic grass. So um, I don't think so. Okay. I probably oh. would also talk to Prata. Do you know how that's pronounced? Swedish for talk. P R A T A. Uh. Oh. Mm, it's. I mean, it's probably. Probably Prada. <laughs> or pretty close. Oh no, it's not according to Google. Mm. It's like Prota. Prota. Okay. Prota. That's Prota. Cute, cute. Oh. I would uh, I would tell him that he could stay with me and he could be my friend as long as he doesn't spread seeds everywhere. Otherwise, we would have to go our separate ways and I couldn't uh, guarantee its safety. You could call him... Uh... Oh, no, that doesn't work. You can call him Badu. I could also ask him his name, what he wants to be called, since he <clears throat> talks. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he would call himself Sladrari, or Sladrare, which is a blabber in Swedish. Okay, I'm going to call him Slod for short. Yeah, Slod. that's totally fine. Slod. Oh, you know what? Why did I... You know what? If he's naming himself, let me look, let me look at something else real quick. Sure. Uh... This is, I think, a great use of this time, well, and I mean it. Hi. Oh, my God. I love you, too, Sunshine Joe Art. Everybody go follow her if you like watching live paintings. That's an IRL friend of mine, and she is precious to me. I genuinely do love this use of this time, by the way. I'm very happy have... with it. Gaelic pronunciations. Gaelic totally would be the language of the Fae, huh? Yeah, I was looking up, I was trying to look up Gaelic words that would uh, be appropriate for our owl bear friend, but I didn't want to struggle with the pronunciation. Well, Gaelic is a, it's a phonetic language. It's just that their phonetics are very different from our phonetics. So yeah. once you know what the letter combinations make, it's really easy to pronounce everything. It's just that I don't know what the letter combinations make. Because like, okay, I once knew a girl. Actually, I didn't really know her. Somebody else knew her. But it, in chat, it was spelled like that. That was her name. It was pronounced Kaweeva. Oh, mm. Kaweeva. Yeah. Not... Oh, oh, okay. She got called very many unfortunate yeah. nicknames. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure she did. How the fuck would you pronounce this, I wonder, while we wait for Josiah to return? <laughs> I tried I tried to look up Gaelic pronunciations, and Google just told me how to pronounce Gaelic. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, what's the word? What's the word? I have a, I have a little guide here. Uh, why don't Does I just it give well, you yeah, the that's, guide? That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at as well. But uh, with this the some is ground the rules and simple vowels and whatnot. Yeah, I'm looking at long vowels and short vowels and word stress. 
All words are strongly accented on the first syllable. Okay. R and RR are rolled and never left out. So we've got the middle of the word down. Okay. So if, if the first part, well, the bees, the bees are not the, the, bees. They're a, uh, they're a V they, sound. They, they, they might be bees, actually. Uh, it depends on if it's a slender bee or a broad bee, which is what I'm learning about now. Also, uh, CH is uh, Oh, okay, so it's, it's a, a broad B. All right, so that means same as in English. It is a B sound. Yeah, yeah. So, so the accent on the first syllable, or excuse me, the emphasis on the first syllable. Does anyone want to try to take a stab at pronouncing I'm I'm about to get it. Uh <laughs> And then the double R is rolled. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's Bieranak. Except yeah. for it's like a <laughs> at the end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 good night, Inno. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Is Josiah ever going to return? Is he dead? He has an he... ancient computer, an ancient Mac. It takes it a really long time to start back up. Oh, I remember the days of non-SSD startup times. Mm -hmm. Should we set up camp and make for the summit tomorrow? Oh. Uh. Based on our timing, we actually don't have much more time left in the session. Which he did reply in the chat that he's voting for rustlers. Well, in that case, I think if we can reach an agreement, then given the situation, we can call it a little bit of an early session. We got a late start, so uh, I don't, I don't want to keep you guys too late since the player meeting is after. We can we can potentially hang out for a few more minutes extra too, in, in yeah. hopes that he comes back and can catch part of the player meeting. Sure. Uh, well, I, what I was going to ask is like, let, let's just continue the, the discussion from the understanding that he has voted for going to Rustlers, if there is still any discussion to be had. I'm already outvoted. There's no point in even talking about it anymore. Well, Camus, did, uh, did you or Grim have a lean? Um, no, I mean, yes, only because I want to get my curiosity sated with the ranch but rustlers for sure rustlers so that's uh what is that three votes rustlers it's four. Oh, is it okay that's one a, vote it's a it's a that's a rough vote to win um and it's not like you can't necessarily go there after uh, just that, you know, right away the plan is to go after the rustlers. Um, I'll repeat this for Josiah if I need to, but just, just for the sake of having it said, uh, basically they're going to show you to the location where they've pinned them down. Uh, they're going to let you know it's about, a f it's just a couple of hours ride. Uh, that's how they're able to check on them somewhat frequently, uh, from here. They'll let you know it's an old dilapidated farm that was supposed to be abandoned, uh, but but clearly wasn't. Can we leave uh, the egg murderer with them? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Because I suppose they have their suspicions that he may be infected as well. Yeah, yeah, it's not even a can I. They they will demand. <laughs> If you want, you guys could even watch them uh, perform the test. Oh, I think we should. Yeah, for sure. Oh, they're not going to like. <laughs> the test is we murder him. Yeah, I was going to say, do they have to <laughs> kill them to complete the test? It's like it's it's like testing for witches where you just throw them in the river and see if they drown. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I, I, I think we would give him the corpse, too. Because it's a legit evidence of someone infected with the blood curse. One second, mm. by the way. Be yeah. right back. One second. Does the magic fuckery last one day, or is it like a week long occurrence? Is it, it is like convalescence day. Good point. Good point. Okay. So, Mateo seemed especially anxious about Convalescence Day. I mean, they, he, he basically said, like, no magic at all yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be worried. Cause... It's a little bit mm -hmm. unnerving. I do have an entire tab for Convalescence Day in my oh, notes. God. Oh, God. Which I'm sure everyone's experienced it, though, because it happens yeah. every year. Yeah, you, you've you well, all sure. experienced it to some degree or another. Um, here's what I'll tell you. On Convalescence Day, uh, at my discretion, based off certain triggers, you will roll a D100. If you meet the requirements of that D100, you will then roll a D20. If And then based off what you roll in the D20, you will then roll a D10,000. <laughs> Wild magic God. surges. I'm ready to, to lose some limbs. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite attached to all my limbs. <laughs> my magic is uh, immune to convalescence day. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Jealous. Old magics <laughs> don't trigger random happenings. What a ritual. I am surprised that that's. Are you like Ach pulling up the COVID screening over there? Like. <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna. Explain to us what their test was. Oh, I, I was waiting for Doxy to get back and she just go back as far as I know. Um, but yeah, so basically what, what she ends up doing is she prepares like a very sacramental area. Uh, you know, looks a little bit like an interrogation room, I guess, in the outdoors. Uh, but she, in effect, casts Zone of Truth and asks him pointedly, are you infected with the blood curse? Or, or are you knowingly infected with the blood curse? To which he says no. Um, and she'll ask him a follow-up question. Have you had any contact with creatures that you would consider to be infected with the blood curse? And he says, no. And she looks over at Mateo and she says, he's telling the truth. And so Mateo is going to look at you guys and be like, what are you talking about? This guy's not infected. Or that, that this guy was, was attacked by one. He was put in the bag. He is already losing sight. It is a complicated situation. He didn't know. Well, because he, he never saw who attacked him, correct? So, well, as far well, as he they, knows. They would have beat him up, probably, in their human forms. Not having a need to attack an old, unarmed trail cook in beast mode thrown him in a sack and then thrown the sack in the in the wagon and then he was in the sack in the wagon for the whole combat and wouldn't have she'll seen she'll the ask him she'll ask him again uh do you know who or rather she's gonna say were you placed into a bag against your will and he'll say yes and she's gonna nod along and say do you know who placed you there and he'll shake his head and say no and she says yeah, this is uh, <laughs> enlightening, but unfortunately, this man was stuffed into a bag without knowing who did it. So unfortunately, not going to be much help in terms of a witness. Uh, we'll have to keep him on hand 
uh, to determine whether or not he has been infected. Uh, but that goes beyond my ability. He'll have to come back with us. There must have been reason to... to put likely remove him. She's gonna shrug and say, unfortunately, we haven't really been investigating the goings-on at the ranch. We were investigating the slaughter here because by all accounts, the report stated, or rather the report pointed to a resurgence of this absolute terrible curse. Did we inform them of the corpse? We did, yes. Did. And that's when they talked... Because she she was going to prepare the ability to speak with dead tomorrow until Mateo was like, nah, <laughs> nothing tomorrow. Can't you ritual cast speak with dead? Uh, let's see. Nope. No. Damn. Can she keep the body from rotting more though uh gentle it's a second second level. level spell it is ritual cast so yeah yeah she can do that just so it doesn't start decay yeah she can absolutely gentle repose it and she will because it's a day old body dope I guess uh, while Josiah is still gone uh, with the little time we have left, you guys might want to talk about like what the plan might be in approaching uh, the, the farm. Like just going to march in there. Oh. Slinging uh, spells, making demands. What, you know, how do, how do you want to approach that? Is there anything you want to ask the justice ears? Did they did they tell us how many rustlers are there? No, that'd be a good question to ask them. Well, how many rustlers are there? Welcome back. Hello. What the? Oh. Have you considered investing into a solid state drive? <laughs> I have a solid state drive. Oh dang. Oh, dang, indeed. I have a 64 gig fusion drive, actually. It, wait, is your computer sick? Uh, no, it's just 10 years old. Oh, okay. So, yes. <laughs> would, uh, would, would one of you guys like to give him a rundown of the things he missed? Just real quick. I vote Val. We decided that we are going to go for the wrestlers. Okay. We uh, figured out that their super high-tech detection strategy is Zone of Truth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're leaving the owlbear murderer with them. Okay. The uh, corpse is going with them as well because it is infected. Okay. And they were able to keep it from rotting. Cool. And now we are discussing... Oh, then we spent like 10 minutes trying to name the pumpkin. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That Gila is <laughs> going to take with her. And they did name the other owlbear egg, too. Mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we are trying to decide our plan of action for attacking the wrestlers who are at a supposedly abandoned farm. Cool. And there was a question about that as well. Uh, Esperna had asked approximately how many rustlers that there were. Uh, they'll let you know that they have seen coming and going. Uh, around 20 or so. Oh, jeez. Jesus. But that's not a guarantee that that many are there. They, they did mention that they come and go. Perhaps passage on the sky whale. Mm. 
We also aren't sure how many are infected. I guess our characters don't know the the nuances to the blood curse, do we? And unfortunately, neither does the house to the extent that they can tell you that it's something that you can like it is transferable. It is it is infectious uh, and it spreads like wildfire. But I guess the knowledge of like them gaining power from the moon. Oh, I mean that that it's literally moon touch blood curse. So, OK. So I guess would we be able to make the reasonable assumption that it would be better to deal with it during daylight? Uh, I mean, I think, yeah, I, I think that's a safe assumption. Hmm. Middle of the day does kind of hinder ambush plans. Mm. Mm. But attacking tomorrow hinders our using magic at all plans. Mm, it's true, too. Well, well, I guess what time of day is it now? It's like midday. Right, and it's a couple of hours out, so we'd be, like, pushing sunset, probably. It's not so much that it hinders our magic-using plans. It just is, like, the YOLO option. Who <laughs> fucking knows what's gonna happen? It might be great, actually. Oh, you, you missed the explanation of Convalescence Day. That's true. Um, somebody else do it. Okay, so... There are certain triggers that if we can't resolve, he'll... Or no, 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 no. There are certain triggers where he will roll a D100, I think it was. Yes. And then um, if we can't resolve certain conditions, then he will have to roll a D20. And then that will determine whether or not he has to roll a D10,000. Yeah, on the, like, uber wild magic table. That's the theory, yes. Yeah. As I said, it's the YOLO option. <laughs> well, if, I mean, attacking at night's not really an option because only one of us has dark vision. Yeah, that's and true, so, too. So, true. like, we could attempt that, yeah. but I think it might go poorly for us. <laughs> Particularly because we're going to have to have, you know, torches in order to see, and a torch is going to make us, you know, very visible at night. And But if we light the barn on fire... <laughs> hmm. um, we could get our sneaky animal bros... In Spider Boy, and I'm sorry, remind me of your bat Wallace. name, Wallace, Wallace. Thank you. To go in there and stir up trouble with the the Gorgons, try to get the the Gorgons to at attack the rustlers and petrify a few of them before we go in there. You, uh, right. if you if you need an easy device to remember the name of the bat, just remember he's the ace that hangs on the wall. Mhm. Mm he's the feel the wall ace. Yeah. But the other thing is, is if it is people from the ranch, I feel like they would also have masks. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. especially for rustling gorgons. Yeah. Ace up your sleeve. You get it? <laughs> uh. Yeah. Everybody do a collective groan. Uh. <laughs> 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 drones feed me so you know <laughs> anyway um just to just to kind of put a neat little bow on things because i feel like some of this stuff is things that can very much be discussed in the in the post player chat um i the the energy levels drop in a fair bit i feel like everybody's kind of kind of like mellowing down we definitely don't want to get in a position where you guys are, are rolling into a combat scenario tonight uh, with the late start and the couple of interruptions we had, I think this is a safe place to call it. 
um you know i'll leave you guys to to discuss the finer nuances and come up with your plan um but for here i just want to th say thank you again everybody who came out um thank you for sticking with us through the technical difficulties uh and you know hanging out through some of our inanity such as looking up how to pronounce things in gaelic um so that that was a good time um if anybody wants to pimp anything go ahead and pimp anything we don't have to do the usual round table bit uh, i feel like everybody just kind of wants to get to enjoying their weekend so uh thanks thanks folks for coming out for session 12 we'll see you next time uh oh i guess officially if you want to know when our next session is go to our twitter ritual cast show uh we'll we'll tweet it there hopefully we'll get our vods up on youtube uh so that if you missed anything you can go back and watch that i know the last one is currently missing um but other than that uh i don't really have anything else to add dope mm. Baller. The... yeah we have we, we just have some uh like stuff coming up that maybe we might not be able to for the next couple of fridays but uh we definitely follow ritual cast show and you'll know you'll be in the loop yeah usually we'll we'll put something up the day after session with like a tentative date or like a maybe date uh and then we'll confirm that once we know it um but for now i know that it, it won't be next week uh it may not be the week after so i it'll probably be the week after next or the week after the week after next Thanks, everybody, for watching. Does anybody want to talk about themselves? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm Gucci, too. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Good what night. Exit. Jesus. <laughs>